Q-Blink error code is an indicator of a failed power supply board. All three of these models use the exact same power supply with part number 1-474-614-11 and board number APDP-330A1. The boards are still available for sale at reasonable prices. However, if you'd like to try and fix it yourself, we will go over some of the common issues with Sony power supply boards. To begin troubleshooting power supply boards, it is imperative you do not have it plugged in. It is also equally as important that you have had the power supply board unplugged for at least 15 minutes to allow the capacitors to discharge. If you do not do this, you run the risk of shocking yourself, breaking your multimeter, and getting a false positive when doing short checks. To ensure my board is discharged, I'm going to check in DC volts, the residual voltage in my two large frail capacitors, as well as the large capacitors on the cold side of the board. Okay, so we're going to go ahead in DC volts over here, put the negative lead on the negative side and positive on the positive. And we currently have 4.25 volts left in these caps. And that's going to be low enough for us to properly work on this board without getting false positives or shocking ourselves. Be careful not to slip. Okay. And it looks like all of the cold side capacitors are essentially showing us zero millivolts or close to. Okay, now let's start checking some of the components. Often we see failed transistors, such as these guys over here. We have ID location Q800 and Q801. Transistors usually fail shorted, so we will check them in beep mode for shorts. With this meter, when in beep mode, any components with the resistance below 50 ohms, the meter will beep. That's going to be accurate enough for us today. We'll check the middle pin to outside pins first. And then the outside pins to one another. We have no shorts, so we're going to go ahead and move on to these transistors down here, Q600 and Q601. and the outside pins again to one another. Okay, no shorts. Next thing we're gonna go on ahead and check the resistor, R915 over here. This component, we do wanna expect low resistance and so we do wanna hear a beep. Resistors are the opposite of transistors when they fail and they generally tend to fail open. If the transistors we checked are good and so is the resistor, last parts to checks are diodes. Just like transistors, generally diodes fail shorted. So once again, we'll do some quick checks for shorts while still in beep mode. Notice the ID location patterns. All transistors start with the letter Q, all resistors start with the letter R, and all diodes start with the letter D. Since no shorts are found on these diodes, we should be okay. If you do have a tube link code and you have just checked all the parts we just did and you didn't find any problems, then your failure is most likely more involved and will require a lot more troubleshooting. If this is the case, we recommend you look for replacements at this point. If you did find a part that is shorted or failed open, and either you don't know how to identify it or it's burnt and the markings aren't legible, just let us know in the comments and we will let you know what the part numbers are and where to find replacements.